Hey there, Parsa here, back with another Space Engineers video. Uh, I hope you're all having a good day today and uh, doing well. Um, before I get on with the ship tour, I'd just like to say uh, tonight at 5pm uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time, I will be uh, streaming some like Space Engineers uh, creative building stuff. Not too sure what I'm going to do or build, but uh, it'd be great to see you there. Um, yeah, anyways, so today I have the Horizon 100 uh, exploration uh, vessel. Um, it is a very, very cool ship. I'll, uh, I'll start off by saying that it's sort of got a, like a, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say like a dolphin design or a, an insect. That's what these like sort of little prong thing here reminds me of. Um, it's got some little lights there to sort of just add some detail and it's got uh, four nacelles at the back here for uh, forward thrust as well as some like uh, upward thrust there as well as that I guess I don't know what you call these the fins or the nacelles they've got uh, some thrusters on there as well and um, they're on like a angle sort of thing so uh, we'll look at uh, how that moves around later um, We've got some connectors here, so you can connect uh, some small ships, some spiders, or attach to a uh, another vehicle to, or vessel to trade with. Here we have a uh, little door airlock thing with the merge blocks there, so you can do that. Although, not too sure how practical that is with uh, this sort of thing in the way there, but that's a minor detail. Um, yeah, so we've got these two little prong things here, which I, I absolutely love. They sort of remind me of... Uh, uh, what's the movie? Uh, the movie Chappie, where he's got these little sort of like antennae things there. Uh, I don't know why, but that reminds me of that. Um, at the front here, we have the hangar bay, which is really, really cool and opens up. So I'll, uh, I'll show you that uh, in a minute, but that just uses hinges there. Moving down here, we have the uh, bridge of the, uh, the ship, um, which I'll uh, go in soon in the player mode and run around and show you all that, but uh, moving on back to the exterior, we have a little elevator here where I'm situated. Um, so this button uh, will make it go up and uh, this will make it go up and down while you're standing on there. Uh, but I'll uh, show you that in a moment. Here we have the landing gear, I've just got them folded up at the moment, but these can, uh, can come out. Um, and they're on either side of the uh, ship, just there. Sorry if it's a bit topsy-turny right now, I'm all over the place. But uh, yeah, back here we have a uh, antenna, as well as the uh, jump drive, I believe, tucked in there. And uh, along here, just got some little like ridges with the uh, bean blocks, so that's pretty cool. As well as the neon lights here with uh, the cyan there, so that's pretty cool. Over here, we've got a little window you can see into the... Uh, uh, I forget what that's called, but that's pretty cool. We'll look at that in a moment. At the back here, we've got the uh, the bottom. We've got another hangar door, and uh, that's connected to this little thing up here, which uh, I'll show soon. Uh, inside of the sort of engine room, I'll just turn the light on. We've just got some uh, hydrogen tanks here with the uh, hydrogen engines. Um, they're quite exposed, so I don't think this is really a... Uh, great combat vessel, then again, it is designed for exploration, so there is that. Uh, I think these are some, yeah, these are some more landing gear at the back here. Um, now, I will just uh, note that uh, before using this ship, well, for starters, it uh, does require pretty much every single uh, DLC block there is, so have, keep that in mind. Um, but as well as that, uh, there are a few settings that you need to have um, on your world when using this ship. Um, I don't think they're a must, but the creator did have um, a thing on the workshop page uh, explaining some different things, some like world settings to have uh, on and off uh, for the best experience, because uh, I did have this ship in a planet before on another world without those settings enabled, and uh, it just crashed, so... Just uh, keep that in mind. Anywho, moving on to the uh, little interior tour here. So uh, if we click up, you'll see that this cool little uh, elevator thing here in action goes ahead and it's 
very very cool uh, there's a lot of things in the ship that are like automated like this which uh, I don't know you don't really see that uh, that attention to detail too often when you do it's uh, very good and I assume we click enter and that will do some airlock thing maybe depressurize the airlock I can only assume this worked a moment ago um, I'll just click that again, there we go. Okay, so we can uh, go in like that, and then you'll see here we've got a, a little display here which tells you about the oxygen in the room, which again, something you don't really see on too many ships. So if we just click this button here, you'll see that that goes up to uh, 100 there, and uh, opens this door here. So, this is the bottom floor of the ship. Um, you can activate the airlock room by pressing this button there, but we won't do that. Um, and here we have a elevator, which is called by uh, this big red button here. Um, and I don't believe these do anything. Uh, but yeah, we'll get onto that elevator in a second. That's another really cool uh, feature of this ship. Anywho, upon entering the bridge, you'll see that the uh, lighting changes a bit, sort of uh, only illuminated by the blue screens there. And uh, we've got four little uh, cockpits here, so you can have four co-pilots in case anything happens. If we sit in this chair, you'll be able to see the uh, rotations of planets there. That's a very cool detail. Um, I'm not sure if that moves or not, but uh, it's cool to have regardless. Uh, anywho, through uh, this little catwalk here, we've got the uh, like lookout of the bridge, and uh, we can see the ship's uh, systems and uh, intactness, if you will, um, on those little screens there. But uh, I'll just get in this chair here. So uh, on each of the uh, seats, we've got this little uh, screen here, which will tell you uh, what everything does, which is uh, very appreciated and uh, very good. Um, so if we click one, that'll bring us to the uh, remote block. And excuse all my R's, I'm just uh, sort of <laughs> going uh, as, as fast as I can. Um, so number one, we'll unlock the landing gear. So if I go to third person here, you'll see the uh, landing gear, which I pointed out before. And if I click two, you'll see they'll uh, they'll come down there, and uh, they'll just go down nice and slow. And then at the back as well, you'll see uh, there's those little ones there. So I believe they're all lined up, so you're able to land. Um, and if we want, we can just click one again, and that'll lock that in place. Number three, that'll just turn off all our uh, hydrogen thrusters. Number four, we'll activate the jump drive. Uh, number five, we'll control the merge blocks there um, of that airlock area I showed off before. And number six, we'll just uh, detach and attach uh, the connectors on either side there at the front. Uh, and that is all for the bridge. Uh, moving on, just close the door. All, uh, all the elevators already being called down, as you can see. And if we just close the door here, we're met with this uh, Clang Cola screen and uh, some little buttons here, which will take us to all the different areas of the ship. So first we'll go to Hangar 1, oh, sorry, Hangar and Reactor, Level 1. And uh, as you'll see, this uh, brings us up, which is very, very cool. It's a very cool elevator, and it's got a little uh, cool little detailed floor there. Um, here we have the uh, Hangar Bay which uh, is very, very cool, I think. It's got these little, like, guards here to stop uh, stuff from rolling onto this area of the ship, I guess, as well. You could probably put them down and uh, store something here just for some extra space, but uh, it's a pretty sizable uh, hangar room, I would say. You can fit a few small thingamabobs in here, and we've got a pretty good door over there. We've got uh, what a four-block-high or three-block-high door, which is which is good. Uh, I'll just show you how those all move and work. So similar to the airlock, we have an airlock uh, manager, um, which will deep. Well, that's pressurizing there. That's at 100. And if I click that again, it will uh, depressurize the airlock. So uh, here, the uh, creator has kindly um, put some little uh, instructions there. So the hangar gate, uh, a very good uh, looking UI, I will say. If we click the big red button here, you'll see that these doors will open. And I'll just get over here so you can see. But uh, yeah, you're wondering how do I get out? Well, look at that. Um, the little doors at the front here open up like a sort of big carrier plane thing. Um, yeah, 
So that's cool. In the uh, workshop page, however, they did have a car displayed here, although I don't think it's really possible to get a car up like this, but uh, there is another room where you can get a car in to the ship. Um, granted, it needs to be uh, a certain size and fit some measurements, but we'll look at that soon. So if I just close the airlock, you'll see that uh, it will close these and then that outside bit will begin to close as well so then that's all uh, shut tight and then as well as that we have the two little buttons here which will put down these little stoppers so as I said you can uh, store some things over there which is uh, which is pretty cool and uh, that just tucks very nicely into the floor another cool thing about this ship similar to the elevator over there is you've got a bunch of these sort of uh, small subgrids that uh, are integrated very well into the ship. Like, look how seamless that is onto the uh, the large blocks over there. Uh, anywho, that's all for the hangar. I'll show you the reactor room now. Here we have a little uh, viewing area, and uh, this will turn all the reactors off. Uh, so, best leave that on, and those little buttons don't do anything. Through here, we have a little uh, big heavy door, way airlock thing. I don't think there are any air vents, no. More for safety, I suppose. Through here we have a bunch of little small reactors and uh, a little catwalk here, which is nice, and uh, some tubes beneath. Down here you'll see we have uh, a view of all the different air, uh, uh, reactors there and uh, another little small grid integrated in there as sort of a, um, a cage, if you will. And uh, over here we've just got a little pipe there uh, not too sure where that's that's meant to go. Down here, however, we have some batteries and uh, a little sort of hidey way thing you can hide in uh, if you get attacked by pirates, I suppose. Um, move, uh, okay, I'll just show you the other side. There isn't anything over here, but just so you know. Coming up here, we can uh, leave the reactor room. And I'll uh, just go back up the elevator and uh, show you the third floor, which is where the bulk of uh, the ship is. Again, don't have to call the elevator, but uh, we can go and click at number two, which should probably be level three, to be honest, saying that's level zero, but uh, it is what it is, as they say. Uh, here is sort of like the living area of the ship. This is where the crew will sort of be uh, living. And we've got like some cool little beam blocks there painted red with uh, some pipes behind them. That's always cool to see. Sort of adds a bit of uh, uh, a vector for your eyes is I believe the term for that. Here we have another airlock. You just click the button to uh, depressurize it or pressurize it if someone's already used it. Again we have a similar sort of uh, airlock display thing there and then that just leads out to the uh, outside which I won't bother going out because I showed uh, the ship before and we've got a little gun rack and uh, a locker there and we've got uh, that mirrored on the other side there with a little viewy hole this one didn't have a viewy hole unfortunately uh, first I'll show you the crew quarters uh, uh, before I do that though I'll just say uh, again the signage on this ship is uh, spectacular you'll see the signs all the way over there and I believe it was on the other floors as well that's always good, especially if you're uh, not watching Parso and uh, not seeing these channel re uh, ship reviews, you won't know where to go, so that's always good. But here we have a little table with, um, uh, what, six chairs and a sign there that says Cosmic Team, Explore the Future, so there you go. And here we have sort of, I um, uh, wouldn't know the term for this, but uh, it's used in a lot of uh, sort of tight spaces. I know a lot of uh, uni or university... Uh, housing sort of features this thing where they've got like the beds sort of uh, facing the opposite way so you've got a bit of privacy there um, except for like up there I guess but oh well what can you do and there's just another bed here so you've got uh, five beds and six chairs so um, no shortage of chairs there over here we have the uh, lights which will toggle sleep mode as you can see it darkens the room and I don't know helps you go to sleep, turns those screens off as well, but we'll just turn that back on now. There you go, nice little cozy lighting. Through here we have the crew's uh, toiletry, toilet room, uh, lavatories, that's the word. Uh, not much to see there. 
Now I'll move on to the captain's quarters, which are, oh sorry, the server room. Um, it's got a cool little uh, small grid looking computer system there, that's very cool with the neon lights, I like that. And as well as that we have the different programs here, so we've got whip subgrid thrust and the airlock controller and the easy command. Not too sure what that last one is, but uh, here we've got a little window as well, so you can uh, peek in at the... Uh, computer that will uh, inevitably take over the ship and uh, pull a 2001 A Space Odyssey on them. Anywho, here's the captain quarters. Very, very cosy, I think. Got some lounges here, another Cosmic Team TV thing, and uh, some little plants, a uh, locker thing, a little desk. Uh, I believe this controls the office lights, yep. And then I think this one here turns them on as well, yep. So you've just got two and uh, again, once more, we have the little uh, small blocks integrated very well into the ship. That's where the lights are coming from. So we've got a little small grid up there uh, connected to this rotor. Through here, we've got the uh, captain's um, toiletries and toilet stuff. And here he's got a little bed. So you can uh, look out the window there on the right. Um, anywho, moving on. Sorry, wrong way. Uh, as you can see already, it's a very detailed ship, um, but it's very sort of simple as well, which is never uh, never bad. Uh, here we have the mess hall. In here, you can see we've got a window here with uh, a few of the nice uh, Earth-like planet. Very good. And here we have the kitchen, which has uh, some drink things and uh, a stove top and a sink. Um, over here we have a table made uh, with the small grid. Again, very nicely integrated, and you can sit it here and look at stuff I guess so uh, you've got eight seats there so enough room for everyone I'm sure um, here we have a vending machine and a, a drinks dispenser thing I suppose moving on we have the medical bay which is uh, again very simple sort of scene like this in other ships got the uh, science machines here and uh, this doesn't have a purpose, so that's that. Uh, here we have the med bay, so you can respawn. Uh, two little desks here, and five cryo rooms. So it looks like the crew is going to be fighting for whoever uh, gets to go into cryo sleep. <laughs> Anywho, moving on, we've got some lights on the wall here, as, as do we over there. Just helps uh, light up the place. Here we have the ending deck, which is... Uh, the really cool thing I uh, sort of teased at the start of the video, so you must be wondering, Paso, what does this do? Well, my uh, my astute viewers, uh, if we just open this little gate here, you'll see that uh, it'll open the hangar bay doors that we uh, looked at before on the bottom of the ship. So they're at the back of it right now, as you can see. There's the engines. Anywho, coming back up here, I'll show you the uh, exact purpose of this. So, here we've got a little red thing that says locked. If we click uh, F on that, that'll unlock it. And then we can click elevator toggle, which will lower the sort of uh, cage there. And as well as that, we'll put a little uh, safety thing there, and it comes up with access denied. So, uh, I think that is very, very cool. Um, and then we can click lock to stop that from jittering, but uh, if I just head down here, you'll see it's got uh, sort of things for a small car to drive into, so um, I don't have a car to fit in here unfortunately, so um, it looks like you guys, if you download this for yourself, you can experiment with that, but uh, yeah, so this is another example of the small grids being well integrated into the ship. Um, very, very cool, so if I just come back up here, if I fit, wonderful. Uh, I can unlock this, turn this on, and that will uh, put this beast of a machine back up into the uh, ship. And I'll bring up that, and then you can uh, store the car in here, and then close this. Um, however, I am not sure if you can use this with uh, the jump drives. I think you might leave the car behind, seeing it's not actually connected via a connector or anything. But uh, if you're just moving a car around, or a vehicle around... Uh, a planet or something like that um, from station to station if they're close by and you're flying manually well uh, then that's that's cool for that um, and I think that might conclude the tour oh, whoopsie daisy that's not very safe uh, but uh, that's just got the reactor room in there and a little catwalk that 
looks at that, and I'm pretty sure that's everything. So uh, I'll cut to the uh, ship crash now. See you in a second. All right, so I'm just in space now, and I'm just about to uh, crash the ship. But uh, one thing I should note is I don't think this thing has many gyroscopes on it at all. Uh, I'm slowly trying to uh, <laughs> point it at the moon here. I think I'll do a moon crash today. But uh, yeah, I appear to be moving very, very slowly. So um, <laughs> I'll uh, cut back to when uh, I finally move this ship. And I just remembered that uh, this ship, or this, sorry, this world has uh, block damage off, but uh, <laughs> for the sake of the ship, of course, working. But uh, it seems we lost the front of our uh, hangar bay things, and I'm going to assume something happened to the remote block because I cannot uh, control it no longer. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'll bother with the uh, the other crash because the ship sort of just freaks out. Uh, when block damage is on, but um, looks like we've got a door from the hangar bay about to hit us, so I don't know, that could be, oh no, never mind. Well, uh, that's a bit of a dud. Um, anywho, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it really helps the channel. We're almost at 100 subscribers, um, so if we can get to there for today's stream, that would be wonderful. Um, really, it would make my day. Um, you can download the ship in the comment below. Um, I'd just like to say to the creator of this ship, uh, I'll credit him at the start of the video in the little montage. Uh, I think he's done a stellar job. Um, my only thing would be uh, the gyroscopes. Don't know where they are. Uh, they're in the menu, I saw them, but... Uh, couldn't seem to get them to work. But uh, anyways, yeah, see you guys. Uh, have a nice rest of your day.